As is normal on the northern plains, we have a nice breeze blowing for our fire demonstration. The various component parts that are required to create a fire using a, a fire drill technique. You create a fire board, which is the base piece. In this case, it's made out of cottonwood. A very important aspect of this whole process is the notch, which is cut into the edge of the board below the indentation in which the drill will be placed. That notch is actually serving the purpose of allowing the edges of your fire drill. In this case, the fire drill is the center stock, the fluorescent stock of yucca. But as you spin this drill, you're picking up material both from the cottonwood itself and from the drill, which combine together to form the glowing ember. This notch then acts as a point, a nick point as it were, which peels off small powdery amounts of the drill as you spin it. You use a bearing board on the top of the drill to push down on and secure it in place. The bow is constructed of choke cherry with a leather bowstring. The tinder, which you will move the ember into to actually create the fire once you have a glowing ember. This tinder is red cedar, the inner bark of red cedar, and dry grass. The time period that an ember will glow from producing it where there's not a strong wind is about five minutes. So the technology then frequently included, in this case, the, a number of the Plains groups used the head of cattails to embed the ember in, and they would create a container frequently out of the horn of bison to insert the glowing material into as a fire retaining piece so that you could move from one site to another. They also used um, the root of the bush morning glory. Again, it was a fire retention device that would give you an extender over numbers of hours. And in the case of the bush morning glory, there are documentations of it extending over numbers of days of time. Because again, all of these pieces, as we were discussing in our previous segment, are, are materials that have to be gathered over a fairly wide piece of the landscape. One of the very important things to note about this process is that if there's any humidity and your drill becomes moistened or your tinder becomes moistened, your board base becomes moistened, you're not going to be successfully building a fire. The leather thong on the bow is wrapped around the shaft. Again, the shaft is yucca fluorescence. We already have smoke, so we're already creating an ember here. We have an ember glowing. We have an ember extender, which is from the cattail. There we go. This concludes the second of our tapes in our primitive technology series, this tape dealing with arrow making and fire starting. I'm Dr. Adrian Hannes from the Archaeology Lab at Augustana College in Sioux Falls. Thank you very much.